Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. And as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, we are going to be reviewing and crocheting Dollar Tree Dollar Store yarn. You probably didn't know that dollar stores actually have yarn. I feel like yarn is such an expensive thing sometimes and the cheapest that we can find out there is Red Heart Super Saver acrylic yarn. You know what I'm saying? I bet you're thinking what I'm thinking which is how good quality is this even going to be and also is it even worth it? But anyway let's just dive into um I'm just gonna show you let me back up. I was pretty amazed at how much yarn they carried at this Dollar Tree and um, not just how many colors and that sort of thing, but the materials they carried. I will show you two cotton yarns and three, I believe three acrylic yarns, three different types of acrylic yarns. I'm not gonna lie, the packaging is extremely boring. So far, just from being there and shopping around and looking at the yarn, I would already put myself at a five out of 10, like as far as being happy before even crocheting with it. And let's go ahead and just jump into the review and I'm going to start with the cotton yarn. So this is called Just Cotton. Um, I picked up a burgundy color, which I love. It's a washed out light blue denim, and I think that's actually what it's called too, is, yeah, light denim. Got two colors in just, just cotton. But yeah, it's kind of boring. It's just a white label, but it has everything you need to know on it as far as like what the color is called, the dye lot. These are actually 85% cotton and 15% polyester, so you might be thinking, these are pretty soft on the soft side because it's polyester and you'd be correct. They are pretty soft. Um, there is about 104 yards in here and it is a size 4 medium yarn. They recommend 5 millimeter knitting um, needles and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Speaking of crochet hooks, I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday as well and picked myself up a Yarnology crochet hook. Now, I whipped up a little swatch of the burgundy first. Like most cottons, there was more splitting going on in this type of yarn than other yarns. And that's, that's pretty typical, like I said, for cotton yarns. But I made up a little swatch and... It could be the size of the crochet hook that I'm working with. It feels like any other cotton. I will say it does feel a little cheaper. Like working with it feels a little cheaper than even, you know, Lily Sugar and Cream yarn that you'll see or Peaches and Cream at Walmart. Those seem to be pretty cheap cotton yarns that run, but these, so these feel a little bit cheaper than that. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's just something I've noticed. I work with Lily Sugar and Cream cotton yarn a lot. Again, it's not super obvious, but just something that I happen to notice. But all in all, if you're looking for a cheap cotton yarn to use, I definitely recommend picking up just cotton. I would probably give this a 7 out of 10, um, just because I know there are better cottons out there. Let's move on to the Just Yarn acrylics. I got black and white, and I worked up in white to show you. Um, sometimes black yarn is hard to see. This is a lot thicker than um, the cotton yarn we just worked with, so it worked a lot better with my new hook. Um, and it actually worked up really, really nicely. I like how fluffy it feels. I like soft acrylics. Some acrylics are kind of picky, like that's why I don't like Red Heart um, Super Saver yarn, even though I have a whole bunch of it behind me. This works up really, really nicely, and it, it looks nice. Like I said, it looks cheap as a bundle. It's like this weird shine that sometimes you can tell with yarn. If that's something you like, then go for it, but I really like how fluffy this is, and especially with the white, it's called Cloud. Um, no kidding. This is definitely a nice, um, thicker yarn to use. I really actually enjoy this, so if I were to go back, I'd probably get a couple more, especially how much you're getting here. I, I, you know, it's not like a small, for a dollar, this is good. It's not like a small little amount of yarn, so I would give this a, an 8 out of 10. I like it a little bit better than the cotton, but it's not the best acrylic yarn I've worked with. I know there's better out there. Um, but I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, so I will give this an 8 out of 10. 
The next one we're gonna work with is the Crafter Square Acrylic Yarn. Blue's kind of tricky to find with yarns. It just depends what you're making, what you're going for, and that sort of thing. Um, this was super soft to work with. I probably should um, pick a smaller crochet hook. I feel like normally I would do that, but there was not a lot of splitting going on at all with this. And honestly, for an acrylic yarn, it's pretty soft. Um, it works up chains really, really nicely. This yarn kind of keeps chains in a straight, straighter line. Um, unlike the cotton, the co cotton kind of looks um, really spread out. But this, um, this is really nice. There, there's some splitting going on, but again, I think that's because of the crochet hook size that I'm using. It's a little, it's a little too big, but it does work up really nicely. So I do appreciate that. And the fact that it comes with so much of it, um, you could do a lot of projects with just one, you know? So I do appreciate that. I like this acrylic yarn slightly better than the last one. It's different. It's um, more fine. This is more fluffy. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And last but not least, the most tricky to work with are the flowers. And that's just, I mean, that's the case with all yarns that have a mix of weirdness in them. Um, it was actually, it, it looks cool. Um, I made a little swatch and it's kind of weird to get started. Definitely with this kind of yarn and like with scrubby yarn you have to kind of take your time a little bit more you can't just like whip through the stitches like you normally would you have to kind of when one of these flowers comes up you kind of have to slow down for a second and make sure you're getting it in there when you pull it through um i would say every 10 or so double crochets there's another flower um but obviously they're randomly mixed in there but I was hoping they were going to stick out a little more than what they are. They're kind of smushed down in the piece as you work along with them. They kind of get buried. So if you really want them to pop, um, you won't really get that with this. Um, but that does make it slightly easier to crochet with because they're really soft and they don't stick out too much to where you can't crochet with them. So if you're looking for just something a little more unique, this is it. Um, I will say as far as the feel of the material, it is kind of a little bit more, I don't want to say picky, but it does have that acrylic feel to it, even though there is some polyester in there. Um, and the twist, if you're not used to working with twist yarns like that, there might be some separating for you but just make sure you are working with a bigger crochet hook. Yeah, other than that, um, I do think this yarn is really unique. I think it's cute, especially for a dollar store item. So I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. I feel the same way I do about it with the cotton. I'm not crazy about it. I know there are better yarns out there, but it's still cute and might be a good one to include in your collection. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you do hit the like button, it lets me know that I'm doing a good job and that I'm giving you the content that you wanna see. I apologize for whatever I just realized is going on back there with the hangers in the drawer. Yeah, all in all, I really recommend going to your local dollar store to see if they have some yarn and pick some up. Try it out. See if you like it. I really enjoy what I picked. I like the colors I picked. Let me know if you've ever worked with dollar store yarn and honestly, it's really underrated. So anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. I'm not gonna twist like that.